How much can you take before you give up? Are you a feather or are you a mighty oak against the winds of adversity? Can you hold a steady course when difficulties come out? Would you faint when going to work one day and the ball says, hand in your keys, this is your last day? Do you pull up your roots with the news? Your child has cancer. We're going to have to amputate his leg. In moments like these, let me tell you where you find your inspiration. You find it in the man who kept his word. Though God's people sometimes don't keep theirs. When people from his own hometown tried to push him over a cliff, he didn't give up. When Peter worshipped him at the supper and cursed him at the fire, he didn't give up. When people spat in his face, he didn't spit back. When a whip ripped open his back, he didn't command angels to strike them dead. And when they fastened the hand of the only innocent one to a cross with spikes, it wasn't the soldiers who helped them steady. It was the hand of his father that held his hand steady. For those wounded hands are the same invisible hands that carry you and me through the times when there is only one set of footprints in the sand. The hands that shed the blood of heaven will reach down again. And again. And again. And again. And again. As many times as it takes to pick you up when you are knocked down. And when you are attempting, when you, when you are tempted to give up, he reaches down his hand and he says, "You've got one more river to cross. You've got one more mountain to climb. You have one more Sunday school class to teach. You have one more sermon to preach. You have one more person to reach out to and win to the Lord." So the next time bad news shatters you, your day, take a hike. Take a hike up Calvary's Hill where there's a cross stained with blood from the hands of the Son of God. The, the, the blood is from the same hand that wrote you a promise. God gave His only begotten Son before He would ever give up on you. It's finished.